Hello, today we are going to talk about WordPress. Okay, we want to change this uh, billing address for WooCommerce. So we want to change this WooCommerce test from this billing address to business address, then this shipping address to business address too. Okay, under the address. Okay, so what we are going to do now, we are going to use WooCommerce feature. Sorry, a WordPress feature. Okay, we are going to use the get text feature to change the text. So we are going to create a very small plugin that to do that. So what do we need to do? We need to go to our root directory for this is a live site already, as you can see. We go to our C panel inside the root directory. We will go to WP content, click on it. You see plugins, click on the plugins. Okay. Click on the plugins. You can change, you can create a folder. This is where you create a folder for the plugins. Let's say change billing address. Okay, let's create it. Then when it's created, we'll open it. Then we create a file. Say change custom. Let's say custom. Custom, sorry. Custom billing address.php. Yeah, that's what we want. So after that, we can open, we can uh, uh, go to the editor now. Let's open it with this editor now. Okay, let's open it to this editor. Let me make my screen big so that you can see it very well. Okay, let me increase the resolution so that you can see. So before I start, well, first of all, um, um, uh, type in the, the open it with the PHP open tag. Okay. 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 Then I will bring my my my, my comment text. Okay, my description text, which will use tags that will describe my 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 plugin. So this plugin description. Let me just. Put it there. Okay. So, oh, sorry. So, what I'll do, I'll just change this name to soft key. Soft key. Okay. And the name, yeah, this description should be the version. Okay, let's give it, let's give it a plug, the plugin URL. Let's say plugin, plugin URL. Let's say HTTP. So, Auto name is software key. The next thing we are going to do is to is to give it the auto URL, which is the same thing. Auto URL. Okay. URL. Okay. Yes, let's put it in. Okay. And the description, the description is fine. Then we say version yeah, zero point one. Oh yeah, let's say zero point zero one and we should give it a, I think that's, that's basically all. We should give it a license. Okay, let's give it a license. Okay. License to GPL to or beta version, okay? I think we just use test domain, text domain.
As the main is this, the custom address. This. Okay. So all we need to do now is to go and type. Uh, we we'll just do we we'll just do a simple as per tech for security purpose. Okay, so let me quickly go down. I need my screen to be small again so that. Okay, let me scroll down a bit to make this page so that we can see. Okay, so you can, I hope you can see it very well. So, this, this will just do this small as part check. It helps us to, it helps to, to prevent, to, it's like a security check. Okay, it is a security check. So, it's a function that helps to, to to check if you are not if you are not authorized to use that particular part, it will log you out. Okay, so it has a value that uh, is in the current directory. So let's say that define defined. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay, I think this is I'm doing the wrong thing there. Okay. Okay. See you are not looking. Okay, so we need to help to check if any person is trying to beat the security. Okay, the next thing we are going to do now is to create the the feature okay so what we are going to do now is add the following code to the let me just create a new space uh, okay so say add Then we give it a priority. So the lower the priority, the faster. Okay. So let's say we give it twenty. Then we we'll give it. Uh, Three, the argument will be three. Okay, I will explain this code later for you. So let me type and we'll create the function. Function. Okay. Custom. So 
Oh, we translated this string, okay? Before then, let me just let me just cut this code and save so that we can go. Okay, let me continue. When I'm done, we'll go and check our plugin. Okay, let me just continue. Translated text. So I've typed in the test, so you can see it. The first one, this is the feature, this is the get test. So this is the, the name for my, my text. So I'm giving it this function name, this is the function. I've created a function here, and this is the function name. This is the tr translate text, and this is the text, and this is the domain, okay? So you can see the billing address is the one we want to change here. Is this address here? You type it the way it is written, okay? That billing address, that's what we want to change there. Then I change it to uh, use the translate test. You can see translate test. This is business address, okay? And this also is something with the shipping address, okay? So this is the Okay, so my, my feature name is this, and this is the function name. Okay, so, okay, so what we'll do now is after that, now we we'll save it. Save it now. Let's go to our back end, go to plugin, go to plugin. Go to plugin. Okay. You see our plugin there. This is our plugin. So we activate it. Boom. So when we activate it, let's go and check if this is still there. You can see. So that is it. So let me change this address to let me change this to so you can see. Let's how to create a plugin. And you can see it's working now. So thank you very much. Sorry, let me. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Okay, it's already saved. So you can see that's it. Thank you very much. So now we have a plugin. This is the name of the plugin. If you go to the plugin detail, you see by software key. Okay, visit plugin site to take it straight to software key. You can see. So that's that. Thank you very much. Please subscribe and like my video. Thank you very much.